Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Today, I'm gonna to explore the option of buying a manufactured home or a modular home in central Indiana. Then stick around and I'll share some valuable insights on the state of the current market and how you can put those to work to be a winner in this marketplace. First, when it comes to manufactured homes or modular homes, what are we talking about? I mean, what's the difference or is there a difference? Manufactured homes have their roots in the trailer parks that sprung up in the US after World War II. Modular homes, on the other hand, developed in the, oh, I don't know, the 1970s and 1980s. They were site-built homes that were actually built inside a factory in controlled conditions. They were built to essentially the same code as site-built homes. Back in the uh, late 1970s and early 1980s, I toured, I don't know, a half a dozen, five or 10 of these factories and got to see how these homes were actually made and then I quote, built or installed or whatever you wanna call it. Oh, I don't know, two or three dozen of these homes. So hey, yeah, I have a pretty good idea what this is all about. It used to be that Mortgage Financing limited which homes could be built with a strong favoritism towards the modular homes. But the two codes have largely merged over the last 20 years. And it is very difficult to guess sometimes which code a house has been built to. Essentially, you have to see whether it has tags or not to determine whether it's a manufactured home or a modular home. By the way, manufactured homes have tags, modular homes do not. Now, mortgage financing still dictates to a certain extent the marketability of these homes. Mortgage financing has a preference for modular homes and gives it, in many cases, more favorable terms and rates than it does for manufactured homes. With manufactured homes, they may also call for age limitations. They won't go past oh, 90, earlier than 1990 something or other, that type of thing. And they also may require a larger down payment. So before you go looking for a modular or manufactured home, be sure to talk with your mortgage lender about what kind of terms they're gonna offer on these properties. And regardless whether you're looking at a manufactured home or a modular home, the title to the home, yeah, they have a title, or manufactured homes have a title just like a car has a title. And these will need to be retired and the property must be taxed as real estate and not as personal property as mobile homes are. Buying a manufactured home or a modular home from the factory affords an option to buy a new home and get it somewhat customized the way you want. But in this case, you must buy a piece of the land. And there is much to this. I mean, it's true, you get the type of home you want, but don't kid yourself, buying raw land and going through the whole building process takes a lot of time and a lot of work. Now it may be worth it, but be forewarned. I've done a number of videos on building a home on your own lot and you might wanna check those out. Or hey, feel free to give me a call. I've been at this a long time. I've worked with lots and lots of clients on buying land and then developing it so you can build your own home on your own land. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. There were 270 manufactured or modular homes sold in central Indiana in the past 12 months. They ranged in price from uh, 19,000 to oh, 432,000, which uh, was a house plus a barn on four acres. The median price for those were 158,000. I'm standing in front of 172 Timberline Drive in Cicero, Indiana. This is in the Hidden Bay neighborhood near Morris Lake. It's a 3-2 with 1,152 square foot, and it sits on a corner lot. It's got an open concept with a fireplace, plus a master uh, bedroom ensuite that's pretty awesome. And you're looking at a split floor plan. And you also get to relax in the shade in a very private backyard. Okay, you can enjoy the perks of a playground, a park, and a clubhouse. And the ticket on this one is 172,500. It's listed by FC Tucker Company, but FYI, I can help you with any house that's for sale, uh, whether it's listed by myself or any other realtor in the state of Indiana. I'll point out one other thing. This is a uh, 1984 manufactured home and so there is no financing uh, readily available on it. So this would be a cash sale. And you find that with older manufactured homes. While we're talking uh, manufactured homes, let's uh, talk about another one. This one's at 4070 South London Drive in Martinsville, Indiana. It's a brand new four bedroom, two bath home. Sits high upon a hill with 1.36 
wooded acres. It's got a large kitchen with a center island and stainless steel appliances. And you can sit and enjoy watching the wildlife with your first cup of coffee from either the dining room or the back deck. This one is listed by Keller Williams Indy Metro South. And the ticket on this one is $269,900. If I can help you uh, buy a new home or a new existing home, uh, or a piece of ground to build that home on. Be sure to give me a quick call or text and I'll take good care of you. Hey, you make it a great day now. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Hey, the numbers are in for July and I can tell you we're seeing a late summer surge. And you know what? I didn't have to look at the Board of Realtor numbers to know that. All I had to do was look at my own business. This past month, I spent 10 days in the Canadian wilderness. We were six hours from the nearest town. We had no cell phone service, no Netflix, if you can imagine, and no Wi-Fi. In fact, we had no running water, no furnace, no central air, and the only electricity we had came from a generator. But hey, I had a lot going on business-wise, so I did something I've never done before. I went and rented a Starlink satellite. And you know what? I was able to sell a house, a duplex, and a 66-acre piece of prime development ground. So when I got home, I had a busy month this past month closing transactions. And the surge did not let up. But hey, enough about me. Let's dive into those numbers. For the 16-county Central Indiana area, Prices are up 2% from a year ago, and closings and new listings were both up. Homes are selling in 13 days on average versus like 11 days a year ago, and they're selling at just 1% less than list price on average. Inventory remains tighter than we'd like to see, but get this, it's 24% better than a year ago. Now that's a huge win. In Hamilton County, the median price is down 2%, but closings and new listings, they showed great improvement. They pushed inventory up a whopping 28%. And homes are selling now in 11 days versus seven days a year ago. And they're going off at just about 1% below asking price. So what's working in the real world? Here's what I've seen. For sellers, I found that being a little bit flexible and putting a deal together and a whole lot patient has resulted in deals going down. We were able to put that two and a half million dollar land deal together with a whole lot of creativity, but it sold for cash and get this, it went down in an amazingly short period of just 34 days. And on that duplex, we won the inspection battle. And with that house, we were both patient and creative and did a workaround on the FHA anti-flipping rule. Okay, on the buy side, the difference between winners and losers this past month, drum roll, the winners came ready to play. They had their minds right. So when they did find the house that they were looking for, they didn't hold back. They didn't get all squeamish. They didn't have to think about it. They knew they'd found the house and they wanted it. So we went to work. We wrote up offers that were the most attractive to the seller, but that didn't give our side away. And then we just rolled up our shirt sleeves and went to work to bring that deal home. Now, if you'd like that kind of service, just give me a quick call or text and make it a great day now. If you're considering relocating to the greater Indianapolis area or moving anywhere within central Indiana, be sure to tune in every week to learn all there is to know about real estate and living in Indiana. Whether you're buying or selling, please keep in mind, I work harder to make good things happen. Hey, make it a great day now. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to watch this next clip right now.